From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with OSU beat writer Nathan Ruiz. Nathan, as the Cowboys look to this Saturday against Oklahoma for this Bedlam game, got to be on their mind what they uh, experienced last week, actually what they put themselves through last week with 12 penalties at Baylor, 133 yards, as Mike Gundy said then and, and since. You really can't win many games if you're committing that many penalties. What are they going to do to try to, to reduce the number of penalties on Saturday? It sounds like they're still trying to sort that out, but Mike Gunny's kind of come to the realization, I I'm out of options. I might need to start benching players if, if that's what's going to continue happening. The 133 penalty yards, the third most during his 14-year tenure as coach, uh, most since an Arizona game in 2012. So OSU's trying to, to figure out what's been an issue all season long, with the exception of their win against Texas, all these games, a ton of penalties. Uh, the Texas game, they only had four. Uh, A.J. Green alone had four against Baylor. So OSU is trying to find ways to, to minimize the penalties, and it might just come down to benching guys who do things they don't need to do. Well, as you mentioned, this, the, the, what we saw at Baylor was a you know, high for a, lo a long time. That, that you know, Arizona game is long in the distance. But Oklahoma State has had penalty issues and discipline issues. It's been a reoccurring theme after games all season long. Uh, you talk about Gundy you know, expressing, hey, this may just be a benching question. Uh, this may just be who this team is too for some in some regards. Yeah, I think discipline has been his favorite word this season. Uh, just continually having issues with, with guys doing things they don't necessarily need to do. Uh, I think Gundy put it interestingly when he said that if a team beats us, if you just get beat on the field, that's fine. But if you're beating yourself, like I can't sleep with that is what he said. So uh, he's trying to find ways. He gets questions from his kids all the time about it. And he comes back at them and saying, well, I tell you to take the trash out, but you don't take the trash out. It's the same thing. So he's trying to, to figure out ways both uh, getting it from us, the media, getting it from his kids at home. So he's trying to find ways to, to help this team be more disciplined. But like you mentioned, Jenny, that just might be the kind of team it is. You know, I would think the frustration, I mean, 12 pen penalties is frustrating in and of itself, but a week before against Texas, four in a, a highly charged game and, you know, a, a, a against a really tough opponent, Oklahoma State has four penalties, 52 yards, and then they turn around and have 12 for over 130. Does that add to the frustration in some regards? Yeah, I think he recognizes, hey, we can do it. We can have a good plan. We can, ha we can be disciplined. It's just not happening. And he did say that it's not that they're toning out the conversation. He's talked to him about discipline. He figures over 100 times this season. And the, the message is getting there. The ex execution just isn't happening. He doesn't know if it's just fatigue or youth or inexperience. But they're trying to sort it out. And it really just, again, might get to that point where they just say, hey, you did something dumb. You're going to have to come stand by it us for a while. <laughs> All right, we'll see what happens on Saturday. If anybody is standing by Mike Gundy in that Bedlam game, 2.30 start down in Norman on ABC. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.